According to Musk's own comments on the topic, he does not rule out further reductions in price. The interest rates were the example he gave. I don't think that's a big deal in China since the market there is so crowded and competitive and because Chinese firms have shown themselves to be so formidable. In my opinion, BYD in particular is bringing up an extremely high volume, which is putting significant competitive pressure on Tesla. Tom Nash, an investor in Tesla, has recently learned what other investors in Tesla should keep an eye out for now that Tesla stock is selling at a relatively low price. Tom Nash said that when making an investment, people should prioritize finding a company with a solid business model. Most investors, you see, tend to follow the herd. When the price of Tesla stock rises, investors get more optimistic and start buying shares. When the price drops, they start selling their shares because they no longer think Tesla has any chance of succeeding. Tom Nash says that this strategy is not optimal for financial investments. Instead, investors should focus on the underlying strengths of a company. You will guarantee a profit at the end of the day no matter what the stock sells for. Is it shocking that Tesla is lowering prices there? I guess we mistookfully assumed our time in China was over. You made an offhand comment about possible easing. Even manufacturers announced an unusual truce in the form of a press release. The effect lasted for, at most, a few days. In the weeks that followed, I think it became clear that Elon Musk would not rule out further price reductions, as he had previously said. The interest rates were the example he gave. I don't think that's a big deal in China, since the market there is so crowded and competitive, and because Chinese firms have shown themselves to be so formidable. I believe BYD in particular is bringing up an extremely high volume and putting a lot of competitive pressure on Tesla. Right. The similarities and differences in competitive pressure across regions is an intriguing phenomenon to study. Then, why is China's price under such intense pressure if competition is so fierce? There seems to be a trend of decreasing costs and rising outputs as input prices fall. Companies have been feeling the effects of a lack of both semiconductors and battery raw materials during the past few years. Lithium and nickel prices in particular have been disappointing, presenting a significant obstacle for these businesses. The prices have dropped again. Since China is so far ahead of the rest of the world in terms of developing its battery supply chain, it is usually the country where prices drop first. So maybe that will catch on in other industries as well. Tom Nash has said that in the next five years, a share of Tesla stock might be valued approximately $1,420.11. He has recently placed a high value on Tesla because of its rapidly expanding revenue. His estimation was based in part on projections made by Gary Blake, a well-known Tesla analyst who forecasted a $370 price objective for Tesla within the next 6 to 12 months. Rather from focusing on the current commotion in the stock market, Tesla investors should be thinking about the fundamentals, which the bull argues include multiple causes and probable catalysts needed for Tesla to reach this price in the stated period. Hello, and welcome back to Tesla U2. Tesla's price approach for the immediate future takes into account a long-term view on per-vehicle profitability, as described in a recent shareholder letter, which will be released tomorrow. Taking into account the long-term benefits that features like autopilot, supercharging, and online support could bring to Tesla owners. The manufacturer claims it anticipates a further evolution in product production and pricing, either upwards or downwards, based on a variety of circumstances. Sales of Tesla automobiles boosted the company's quarterly revenue to $23.3 billion, a 24% rise year over year. Musk stated on a conference call about Tesla's quarterly reports that he believed increasing sales at the expense of profits was the best course of action for the company. Musk assured investors that Tesla's high profitability makes it the most successful electric car company. Elon Musk has pointed out that despite investors' concerns about margins, Tesla's bottom line might be bolstered by recurring subscription charges for supercharging, self-driving, and other features after cars are sold. We suggest you should also think about these additional factors. Now, just exactly what are these items? The only way to know is to investigate. 
But before we do, please show your appreciation for this material by clicking the like button below. If you like what you see, please subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on so you can always know what's going on with Tesla. The simplest way to estimate a company's value is to use conservative predictions of key metrics like sales and profits. According to David Trainer. CEO of investment research firm New Constructs. Indeed, this is the case. Profit margins show that Tesla is more than simply a car manufacturer. It is also a technology leader that will shape the future of autonomous vehicles and supply the batteries on which its competitors will rely. Keep in mind that despite the deluge of new, low-priced models from every major competition, this will not significantly reduce Tesla's profits going forward. Tesla is still getting its feet wet, but the company believes its profits will consistently rank near the top of the market. Elon Musk himself has said that Tesla would be better off shipping more vehicles at a lower profit margin in order to reap the rewards of higher volumes later. Tesla has a head start on the competition. Them has four plants throughout the world, giving them a head start on the competition as they ramp up their own EV production. Sales of Tesla vehicles in their home markets are also booming. According to Tesla, in the first three months of this year, the Model Y was the best-selling passenger vehicle anywhere in the world. The Model Y had the highest quarterly sales of any car in Europe and was the best-selling non-pickup truck in the United States. The Model X was the best-selling SUV in China. It will be difficult for any other automaker to beat the Tesla Model Series, especially with Tesla's manufacturing and sales set to expand throughout the year. As a result of the Model E's unwavering leadership in sales in the world's three largest auto markets, it has leaped three places to the top of the global sales rankings so far this year, with over 263,000 units sold. Cameron Tierney, a researcher at Warm Capital, and Eric Markowitz, a partner there, recently released a paper predicting that Tesla would be the most valuable company in the S&P 500 by 2030. According to the study, Tesla is a formidable rival because of its cutting-edge AI technology. Also at the heart of the report is a multi-year analysis of Tesla's many different lines of business, each of which has flourished alongside the rapidly growing automaker. The analysis found that Tesla's ultimate goal is to have complete command over and flexibility in the design of all of its components, tools, and production facilities. By 2030, we anticipate that Tesla's sales will have grown at a compound annual rate of 50%. Its net income and free cash flow will have grown at an accelerating rate, and its margin profile will have expanded. When compared to Tesla, rival automakers like Rivian, Lusted, and NIO will need to have years of continuously strong revenue characteristics before they can enjoy the company's perks. The automaker has set up the necessary infrastructure to compete in the electric vehicle market. When compared to other EV manufacturers, including Tom Nash, it stands head and shoulders above the others because to its world-class supercharging network. Many industry watchers believe Tesla's stock will soar in value after the widespread shift to electric vehicles has been completed. First, Tesla bull and billionaire investor Ron Barron has predicted that Tesla will be a $1 trillion company by 2030 and that Tesla shares will continue to skyrocket for the next 10 years, with some investors making as much as five times their initial investment. CEO of ARK Invest Kathy Wood agrees that Tesla is a great investment opportunity, especially when the issue of disruptive innovation is taken into account. In your opinion, what are the most important aspects of the Tesla stock for investors to consider right now? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to tell us how much you think Tesla is worth. Go ahead and watch the following video to find out what Tesla has been up to in the recent days. We will see you there.